Hi, my name is Dennis Ehrenberger with Agilent Technologies. I'm a design engineer with the Digital Test Division here in Colorado Springs. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the N2884A fine wire probe tips with the Infinimax probing system. The N2884A is a high fidelity and high bandwidth solution to probe an active IC. For R&D and test engineers using an oscilloscope for debugging and testing ICs. This provides an innovative probing approach that is unmatched by any competitors in the market. So let's get started. What we're looking at here is an IC that's been prepared for probing with the N2884A. And we are looking at it on a microscopic probing station. In order to prepare the IC for probing, one has to first chemically etch a trench into the back side of the IC approximately 500 microns by 500 microns. Within the trench, use a fib or focused ion beam process to create at least two wells to the targeted metallic layers. These wells should be approximately 15 by 15 microns and 10 microns deep. The wells keep the probe tip from skating across the surface. Last, use the fib to deposit one to three microns of tungsten to the metal layer to protect it from the probe's tips. Once you have your IC prepared for probing, remove the positioner arm from the case and slip the N5425A ZIF probe head into the positioner arm. And then use flat nose tweezers to slide the ZIF probe head into the recess of the probe arm. Now, secure the positioner arm to the micro positioner using the thumb nut. Agilent recommends using the Wentworth Labs micropositioner that can be ordered directly from Wentworth Labs or from Agilent. When the fine wire tip is attached to the probe head, it is important that the micropositioner is properly secured. Place the magnetic base of the micropositioner on a metallic surface. Unsecured, the micropositioner could tip and destroy the fine wires. Once the fine wire tip is attached to the probe head, it is important that you are careful with the entire setup. The slightest contact of the fine wires can ruin them. Therefore, it is usually easiest to connect the probe head to the Infinimax probe amplifier at this time. The N2884A comes with five fine wire tips included in the case. The 22 micron probing wires are difficult to see but each tip has two wires pointing up. To remove a tip from the packaging, grasp the PC board of the tip with flat nose tweezers and lift directly out of the foam. While still grasping the tip with flat nose tweezers, use another set of tweezers to lift the latch to the open position. Push the fine wire tip onto the probe head and close the latch to lock them together. Be very careful not to hit the wires. Place the micropositioner with the fine wire probe on the probing station with the tips near the probe sites on the IC. Make sure the fine wires are above the IC and are not damaged by hitting the IC or the probing station. The 22 micron wires are of different length. The longer wire on the right side of the tip will be driven to the first well of the IC and then will land the short wire into the second well. Using the microscope, move both wires into the field of view with the micro positioner. Move the positioner in the X, Y direction until the tip of the longer wire is above its well. Now, carefully land the tip in its well. Keep moving it down until you see the end of the wire bend slightly. Once you see it flex, stop moving in the Z direction. Note, the second wall should be to the left and out in front of the first wall probed with a long wire. As the probe tip is moved toward the second wall, the long wire will be permanently bowed downward. This is very slight. Probing in a different direction could cause the long wire to curl upward and reduce its effectiveness. With the longer wire in place, move the micro positioner in the XY direction to move the short wire into the second wall. Then adjust the positioner in the Z direction to carefully land the tip in its well. Stop once the wire flexes. If the IC is active, take care not to cross the two fine wires or allow them to touch as they flex while making contact in the wells. Shorting the two wells together could permanently damage the IC. 
You are now ready to make your measurement with Agilent's N2884A differential probe. For more information about Agilent's new N2884A series fine wire probe tips, visit us at www.agilent.com find N2884A.